Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, so uh, we are discussing like uh, introduction to separation process and the last last time last week in last lecture uh, we just started with this basic separation technique. So today I will go through the four basic separation techniques mean the major phenomena involved in number of techniques. So they are categorized under four categories uh, which we are saying basic separation techniques. Uh, initially, I will just introduce you quickly with those four techniques. What are four techniques and what is basic phenomena and then we will discuss them in a bit more detail. I think I uh, hope so too will be discussed today and so in next lecture. So uh, when you look at the basic uh, um, in separation technique, this uh, quickly I will go through these two, three slides which we have already discussed that whenever you will take chemical mixture, so uh, I mean that if you have to separate that needs some form of energy. So in order to separate that I mean that's not just spontaneous process, you have to I mean maybe add the energy, may, ha may have to remove the energy in some form. Uh, so. Uh, initially when you take the mixture, mixture is usually in the form of homogeneous phase. By the way, do you guys know what is phase? How do you define it? Phase, can anyone define it? Okay, phase actually we define as a main uh, matter which has our material which has homogeneous properties throughout the like mixture wherever it exists. For example, uh, you have some mixture in a beaker and if you take some sample from the top or from the bottom, it will have homogeneous properties. Uh, homogeneous properties mean composition as well as all other properties. For example, you measure its density, temperature, pressure, anything which you are measuring. I uh, mean such kind of properties should be same. It's composition as well as all other properties. So that's we are calling homogeneous phase. So whenever you will take mixture, for example, you take some gas, you collect some gas, so that gas will have uh, same properties overall. For example, that gas is a mixture of two or three components. Let's say there is a air, so air is uh, majorly contained oxygen and nitrogen and then there are some other gases like argon, CO2 and many other uh, in small amounts, but major two are like nitrogen and oxygen. So I'm just considering, for example, air that has homogeneous properties. That means from anywhere I take the air, it will have more or less same composition. So that we are calling homogeneous composition or homogeneous phase. Uh, so we talked about this that if uh, some mixture is multi-phase, it means there are more than one phases. For example, at the end of this, I told you that if you have a like a gaseous stream that contains some solid particle. So in that case, I mean, uh, they are now two different phases, although they are coming together to... Uh, they are coming together to some, some equipment where you want to uh, make separation, but in such case when there are different phases, so then they can be just separated uh, uh, based on, for example, first you can apply some simple force, for example, gravity or centrifugation and you can get them separated. Miss Aisha, kindly mute your mic. Many of them mute via of the Varos So uh, here in this case when there are two uh, different phases but they are uh, sorry your mixture is a uh, form of multi-phase so uh, first of all you can get them separated easily by using some simple force as I said a gravity or centrifugation if there is a dust inside air uh, inside any gas you can get that separated by applying the centrifugal force and later when gas is separated from the solids now those solids can maybe can further separated by any process or majorly suppose there is a gas and we have removed the solid particle now all that gas can also be separated into its constituents by using next separation techniques uh, <clears throat> so 
uh, feed mixture which you usually usually separate that comes in the form of either it will be a gaseous mixture like in the form of vapor they are mixed with each other for example i was telling you there is a air and air contain although air it seems a single phase but that is constituent of different gases so uh, they can be separated like into various constituents for example you can get separated oxygen nitrogen from the air maybe argon from the air and so on similarly it can be a solid mixture or a liquid mixture and then that can get separated uh, so whenever you will take uh, take these products of separation they will definitely differ in the composition from the feed mean as as we said there is air air is a mixture of gases and then when we get it separated when we get oxygen definitely that has different properties as compared to the nitrogen that will be separated so <clears throat> separation uh, can be accomplished by using four basic separation techniques and what are those techniques first of them is like phase creation technique so as its name is indicating here that you are creating a new phase you are producing a new phase uh, for example here you bring the feed to any uh, main system in which we can create the phase uh, let me exactly kindly mute your mic so for example here uh, we have a feed mixer Th that comes to a uh, mean any chamber in which we heat the mixture and partially vaporize now if it was a liquid feed as i said liquid feed enter to a chamber in which after some heating some partial vaporization takes place so initially there was one phase which we are calling liquid phase that is getting into the system and by applying uh, like by heating it you are creating another phase which is like some now partially vaporized means some some of the liquid gets vaporized mean it is converted from liquid phase to the vapor phase and in that case when you convert something from liquid to the vapor and if it was uh, like mixture so which component can be easily vaporized you already know that with the components which will be more volatile or the lighter component they will they will move to the vapor phase while others which are like heavier components or which are less volatile they will remain or they they remain as a part of the liquid phase so uh, this simple technique uh, mean uh, can you give any example where this technique is used or the separation technique which you studied or somehow by your earlier knowledge where we usually apply in flash chamber distillation columns good distillation yes. columns in, in such kind of uh, process where distillation is taking place flash vaporization so we, there we use this technique basically so uh, an alternative of this for example as we said we have to create a phase so let's your feed is the vapor so if you partially condense the vapor in condensation process partially condensation so in we are when we are saying partial that means uh, not complete uh, some part of your feed can be converted to the other phase so in case of partial condensation when you remove the heat from your system uh, some components which are heavier they can get condensed they will be condensed earlier as compared to the, those components which are lighter so lighter will remain in the form of vapor phase and Uh, at the end of the condenser you will get two streams one will be like vapor form and other will be in the form of liquid yes when it is partially condensed but if you will fully condense it definitely you will convert all the vapors to the liquid in that case but here the purpose because is to get the separation uh, with the help of phase creation so we will apply such technique that we can get separated the things instead of again combining them the next technique which is uh, i mean generally categorized is the phase addition technique uh, as again its name is also indicating here what you will be doing you will be adding a new phase to the system uh, in this technique we add a different phase to the uh, i mean for separation of already existing mixture uh, for example it is a mixture of two liquids and we want to separate them so we can introduce a new 
liquid in that case that can get them separated or maybe we can even sometime uh, use some vapor stream or uh, you can say gaseous stream to get them separated so we will discuss them in detail later on uh, so uh, for example you have a gaseous mixture so in that case in order to separate the gases we can introduce uh, so, some some of the liquid so that it can absorb some gases from that mixture so in this case a uh, liquid solvent may contact a liquid feed or a solid here another example is given i was i was contacting the liquid with the gases uh, the example which he mentioned here is uh, like for example you can bring the liquid solvent and can contact it with some liquid feed or maybe sometime with the solid to selectively dissolve or remove some species from the feed so uh, as you can see in the diagram there is a feed but you are introducing something else along with this which he mentioned here as a msa msa i uh, mean uh, we call it generally mass separating agent i uh, mean any anything which you will be bringing in the form of mass not in the form of heat later on you will also see some some notation like this where he mentioned esa mean energy separating agent and this is mass separating agent here we will be bringing some stream of material which will help us to uh, mean get it separated based on the mass so can you give any example of this system uh mean uh, based on your understanding where you have used it earlier like uh, uh, is there any example of this for example guys absorption coagulates uh sorry which one coagulates hote hain sir 